obviously Matt for into boxing delighted to be joined by former world champion and one of the best boxing analysts in the game right now Chris Algieri Chris we've just witnessed a historic upset tonight Dimitri Bivol has done it against pound for pound King Canelo a lot of people were sleeping on Bivol coming into this and me yeah talk to me about this fight incredible uh, I told everyone that there was a um, a lot of things that Bivol does really well that would give Canelo problems he fought a different fight than I expected but still came out on top um just too big too strong too confident too aware too calm yeah just you know, he, he he knew what he had to do and he, and he did were you surprised even in vegas that the scorecards were what they no. were because a lot of people are still saying maybe but that would have been one of the biggest robberies in history wouldn't it uh no listen the fight was still close um but i think the right guy won how did you score the fight then i didn't I can't score a fight while I'm watching it live. Really? Like, you no, didn't do it? no, not 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 while I'm in the front front row, just watching, and enjoying it. If I'm if I'm an analyst, that's one thing. Yeah. Even then, it's hard to do. Yeah. But I'll go back tomorrow. I'll watch it again, and we'll, well, I will see. But I felt that that Bivol deserved this. Decision. What should Canelo do next? There's still a lot for him to do. Fight Triple G. There's no shame as well in him trying that weight class, and he shouldn't be slammed for trying yeah. that. So Triple G in September, you want to see that? Yeah, absolutely. Why not? It's a different weight class. The fight needs to happen anyway. Why not?